What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, of course, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for these readings. This is free channel collective reading for Sonic Forest. This can resonate if you have force in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, meaning even if your charts. Stuff is basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate with the rest. Free general click reading for solid force. I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs as well for additional messages and messages. These are psychic intuitive um, messages. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in your own particular life situation. However, it resonates and applies for us. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,300 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Throw 5. The links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I uh, received your channeling in. I'm going to tell it to you guys in just a second, but uh, I was going to say real quick before we get deep into it. Uh, please think of me on July 15th of 2022. That is my child custody uh, battle hearing date with my ex-husband. He is. Um, this is not the first rodeo with him. This is about court battle number five. It's at least court battle five. I'm thinking it's more like six or seven. Uh, with him trying to fight me for custody of kids the first couple times it was uh, child um, child support adjustments because I was nursing and making more money than i would ever made so the first couple was child support adjustments then he accused me of child abuse and then we're on this one more accusations so um, everybody just keep me in your thoughts and well wishes and prayers and whatever you do however you do what you do in the religious or spiritual realm. Um, I would appreciate it. Okay. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. Um, I just want to say too, while I'm shuffling out, um, when about uh, six years ago when I was dating somebody, which I haven't dated, really dated anybody since then, but about six years ago when I had a boyfriend, which he's the one on my post, by the way, my picture of my post of about six years ago me in the picture with that guy that was my ex-boyfriend he passed away um, about four years ago but when we were dating um i lived in a rental house about 45 minutes from here before i moved to the city uh i moved to the city five years ago and um he had my daughter at that time take a device and take pictures of um his my ex-boyfriend's clothes and toothbrush and razor and things like that in my home to try to use in the court of law as evidence that my ex-boyfriend lived with me because the paper stated that you cannot have anybody living in the home with you for the papers, uh, court papers. Um, and um, he tried to use that as evidence in the court of law that there was somebody living with me and I was violating the court papers. Um, and I was um, violating you know, the court papers and the kids should be taken and all that. Um, of course, it wasn't true. It wasn't true, but it, that's just the shysty, sneaky stuff that he does. And he also had her go around with um, a video device. I think it was Google Duo. It might have been some other video thing. Walking around my rental home at the time. Um, camming us, basically. I, I, I told her to quit that I did not appreciate that. That was violation of privacy. Um, hold on, let me get shut the door. So that's just a little bit of what I've had to deal with with my ex-husband. Of course, those were previous court situations, not the current one. But um, if anybody could just uh, please keep me in your thoughts and prayers and well wishes, I'd very much appreciate it, okay? All right. Cobra, Fox, for some you can deal with the... Um, Fire sign or a uh, fire sign. You got double fire sign energy. Cobra and fox are fire sign energies. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. For some, I strongly feel you're dealing with heavy Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Two or two plus Aries, Leo, Sages. If you are, they can have Aries, Leo, Sag and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine energy your charts. Um, 
Uh, how that resonates and applies for you, Taurus. Angel of love. Noose. Oh, man. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it via social media and some word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. I put um, about 2,000 business cards already out in my city, um, citywide, and uh, various areas in my city uh, to advertise my business. But if you guys wouldn't mind sharing my videos very publicly, social media, word of mouth, I very much appreciate it. Um, it helps support a single mama and one of her two kids, uh, one of single mom and two kids and one of her income streams. Like I said, I'm in the middle of this custody battle right now. Um, and he knows exactly what he's doing. He's draining my money is exactly what he's doing. Because I've, every time I have to lawyer up um, and get a private lawyer, which I don't have to get a private lawyer, but I mean, it doesn't make sense to get a public defender because I want, I mean, my kids are my everything. So every time I lawyer up with a private lawyer and he, drains me in Alabama we don't have the with a single mother you you have I mean to my knowledge there's not free legal services for single um, people um, or people under certain income streams at least nobody's told me that so um, I have to lawyer up every single time and it's crazy legal expenses out the wazoo he knows exactly what he's doing exactly what he's doing it's really quite sickening to be honest and that's another reason why I'm moving out of this toxic ass state as soon as I regain custody back of my kids. And that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have for sign of Taurus. A Taurus is getting a huge wake up call. A very important phone call is about to be made very, very, very soon. Very soon. Heard a Taurus is getting a huge wake up call. A very important phone call is about to be made very, very, very soon. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. I mean, I'm serious. That's uh, Of course, I can only speak on myself. I can't speak on anybody else. But that, that's just a little bit of what I've been going through. Um, but I'm not one to give up. And I've done this many, many times with this man in the court of law. But I don't like being bullied and retaliated against in my community either. And that's another reason why I'm moving after all this too. Because they're not supportive. And that's just the truth. When I have been nothing but supportive to them. I'm not saying everybody in my community is like that because that's not the truth, but um, it, uh, a majority of them are like that, and that's the truth. Okay, so a Cobra and Fox, Angel of Love, News, September, Hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance, Stork, News of a Birth, or a Business Opportunity. Cobra, like I said, I feel for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with at least one fire sign, if not two or two plus fire signs. A Taurus is about to learn of a Sagittarius, huge negative, uh, low vibrational Sagittarius, huge betrayal has happened with the Sagittarius, huge betrayal. Some is Sagittarius masculine, some is Sagittarius feminine. Some in a workplace, some in a family situation. You're about to nip this in the bud in a huge way. Okay, so low vibrational Sag energy. Um, masculine or femme, they could have Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hand, energy, your charts. Some it's in your family. Some it is in your workplace. Some you are the boss. Some you are the boss. That's what I heard. Um, some you are the boss. So, um, Taurus, some you are the boss. Um, so that could be manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I don't know if you're an owner of a business or you are like corporate energy or manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO energy. You plug it in, how it resonates. But it's Sag energy, low vibrational Sag energy. Um, they could have Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, men, hand, and Jupiter charts. They are either a coworker or yours. Um, or a subordinate of yours, or uh, in the in the workspace situation, or they are um, a family member, whoever this person is, masculine or femme. But some they've already betrayed you, some they're about to. So they've used the fangs of the cobra to betray you in a huge way. I heard you're about to make a very, very important phone call soon. So for some, that could be a very important phone call about this person or about something else. However, that resonates and applies, but you're pulling in heavy Sag energy and you've got double fire sign energy.
There is about to be a very significant lawsuit in a skilled nursing facility very soon. This Sagittarius has a huge part in this. Try to cover it up. But it's about to come out. For some, it's already come out. Okay. There's about to be a huge lawsuit in a particular skilled nursing facility soon. For some of these Sages, I think they work in this skilled nursing facility. For some, they could be positions of high authority, I'm feeling, for maybe some not. But somehow they had a part in covering it up. But I heard um, it's it's about to come out. Some has already come out. Some it's about to come out. Um, and there's about to be a lawsuit in this skilled nursing facility regarding whatever has tried to be tried ever tried to be covered up basically um betrayal energy fang energy i heard for some you're the boss so um maybe you are director of nursing is what i'm feeling for some you're either director of nursing or an administrator or uh a, a assistant director of nursing because i heard skilled nursing facility or maybe the SAG is, maybe their director of nursing or assistant director of nursing or um, or an administrator or something of that, that nature. Maybe for some you work in corporate. I'm feeling for some, Taurus, um, and I'm just being for real. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But this SAG, you are, this is, they have betrayed the hell out of you. I call some kind of cover up and basically it's, it is hugely backfired, hugely. And it's going to continue to backfire. Know this. Okay, I heard it has backfired hugely and it's going to continue to backfire. I know this. So this cover-up in this skilled nursing facility is very significant, at least in one of you guys' life. It has already backfired and it's going to continue to backfire. So the Sag has covered you. They have put their fangs, cobra fangs in you. Um, I don't think they wanted you to know they were trying to cover this up, but I, I think you, for some you know and some you're about to find out. Um, one, you are the boss. So I feel you might work in corporate. And I'm just being serious. Uh, for some, you might be the assistant, assistant director of nursing or director of nursing, or you might be um, an administrator. Uh, you have to plug yourself, you and this side in, however you resonate, Taurus. Uh, this is strong, 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 strong. But you and this, uh, uh, you and this side, they're not, y'all aren't good. I'm just telling you right now, you're not good. Through many series of chain events, this person will probably be probably be terminated soon there is much evidence in the universe to support this and you know this not a wrongful termination through many series of chain of events this person will probably probably be terminated soon there's much evidence in the universe to support this and you know this taurus so there's a lot of evidence in the universe to support this person to be not wrongfully terminated they have done something terrible that's about to cause a either has caused a lawsuit or has helped cause a lawsuit in a skilled nursing facility. And I am just being serious. Whoever this person is, my God Almighty. And a Taurus is about to completely cut a Gemini off. Completely cut them off. And a Taurus is about to completely cut a Gemini off. Completely cut them off is what I heard. So, um, for some, and for some in Aries. For some, a Gemini. Um, illegal business of the past. For some, Aries. Low vibrational lover. Okay. So for some, it's a uh, Gemini of your past, some kind of illegal business of the past. And for some, it's a Aries, low vibrational lover. So they have betrayed you or ha or is about to betray you with the fang energy, with the cobra. And also, I feel they're sneaky too, sneaky um, and low vibrational. I heard they're low vibrational, so they're sneaky. And um, I think they've been hiding things from you or you know they've been hiding things from you. However, that resonates, Taurus. And that's why you're about to cut them off. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. You just have the fox energy with the cobra with these people. So that's why I say that. Um, good lord. Um, 
it's a low vibrational to uh, Gemini that was in some kind of, I think you were in some kind of illegal business of the past with them, or, or you knew about the illegal business of the past, however that resonates, or you're about to learn of it, however that resonates. You're about to cut this Gemini off. They're low vibrational. Uh, they have Gemini and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. For some, it sounds like a current Aries lover, but a low vibrational lover. So they have either betrayed you sexually or lover-wise, or they're about to. Um, they're very sneaky and sly, I'm feeling. Let's see if we hear anything. This Aries has already betrayed you, and trust me, they're about to betray you again. They have no qualms with this. Okay, I heard this Aries has already betrayed you, and they're about to betray you again. Trust me, they have no qualms with this. So qualms meaning they they don't care they don't care about betraying you. They can think twice less about betraying you, whoever you are. Um, it doesn't matter to them. Um, but a betrayal is a betrayal is a betrayal, and you're just another notch in their belt. In the lover train is what it sounds like here, um, Taurus. Um, there's no true caring love or affection there um, with this Aries. Um, whoever this Aries, uh, Aries Femme is and how they apply. I heard they're Aries Femme. They could have Aries in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in how it resonates there. Um, Taurus, sorry. Not Aries. Angel of Love. A Taurus is about to experience true love. True love. One, you have just moved locations. You're about to meet the love of your life. One, you're about to, you're about to meet the love of your life. Well, that's beautiful, Taurus, whoever that's for. I can't wait till I move, and I'm just being for real. I cannot wait. As soon as I get my home renovations done and win in custody back of my kids um, and rent my space out, I am moving, and I'm serious. Um... But one of you guys had just recently moved, and um, basically, you you're um, you met the love of your life. For one, you're about to meet the love of your life. Both of you, you've recently moved, so move, move locations, like physical locations. I feel for a lot of you guys, long distance. For some, it might be short distance, but I'm feeling for a majority, it's long distance. Um, but the move has basically put you in divine, um, like, divine intervention here and divine timing to meet the love of your life. I'm feeling twin flame energy here. I am feeling twin flame. For some, it is definitely twin flame energy. For some, for some, it's definitely twin flame energy. Oh, that's beautiful. For some, it's definitely twin flame. Long distances, you have moved. Long distances, you have moved. So you have moved long distances and it has basically put you into divine timing to meet your, your twin. And for some, you have met your twin already recently. For some, you're about to. Number 49 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 49. That's really beautiful, you guys. I love it. Congratulations to whoever that's for. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, twin flame energy here. Uh, you have moved long distances. Uh, and it has basically put you in divine timing. Whoever you are, sir, ma'am, that's really beautiful. It really is. And a Taurus feminine. Is about to get married soon. High vibrational Taurus Fem now. Reader. Twin flame. Wow, a lot of twin flame energy. Holy crap. And a Taurus Fem reader, high vibrational now. I heard um she's about to, she's a reader. So you're a reader, ma'am. If that message applies for you, you're a high vibrational now reader. So you might not have been high vibrational in the past, but you are now. Um, kudos to you for doing your healing, growth, and shadow work, whoever you are, ma'am. You're a Taurus reader. Um, so, tarot card reader, light worker, light side spiritualist, uh, whatever you call yourself, psychic investigator, investigator, whatever you call yourself, ma'am. Uh, you are high vibrational now. You, I don't think you were in the past, but you are now. I heard you're about to get married soon to your twin flame. So, twin flame, angel love, wedding, wedding energy. Congratulations. You, I mean, I don't know if um, he or she has proposed to you yet. Hopefully, they do it right. You do it good. Just saying. 
heard that person is your twin. So congrats, ma'am. Um, news. Sabotage in the workplace is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. Very significant. For some, you're about to sabotage someone. Someone, you are about to get sabotaged. And the one you're about to get sabotaged is about to be by someone you would have never thought to do it. Oh, Lord. Sabotage in the workplace. Well, I've been there. I'm sorry, whoever that's for. So the news in this situation is sabotage energy. It's metaphorical for um, physical, I mean, not physical, it's metaphorical for um, the sabotage, the saboteur, and somebody trying to ruin somebody's career or is going to ruin somebody's career. For one, you're the saboteur. Um, for one, you are about to get sabotaged. Um, and I heard it's about to be by somebody you would have never expected. For some, it could be that crazy ass Sag, maybe. For some, it could be, or the Aries. For some, it could be by somebody else. I'm not sure. You plug it in, how it resonates. And another death from a disbanded black magic coven is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. Very significant. And another death from a disbanded black magic coven is about to become very significant in a um, Taurus's life. So that is physical death energy there um, of a disbanded black magic coven. I would pick that up in Virgo. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Yikes. September. And a Taurus is about to be asked to step down as an informant. They're about to be made to. Informant to the FBI. There's about to be another informant. And you're not going to have a clue who this person is. Okay, and I heard a Taurus informant is about to be asked to be set down. They're an informant to the FBI, so Federal Bureau of Investigations. Heard they're about to be forced to, so I'm sure whoever is going to ask them to do it, but they're going to have to do it anyways because the, it sounds like the FBI don't want them to be an informant anymore. They don't want you to be an informant. They don't want you to be an informant. Um, I heard they're, um, so they're basically going to be made to not, um, not be an informant anymore. But uh, whoever you are, Taurus, uh, obviously I think you watch my channel. You're an informant to the FBI, but you're about to be made to be set down. So you're not going to be an informant anymore. But somebody else is about to become an informant, and I heard you are not going to have a damn clue who this person is. It is going to be so secret. And the person about to offer this to this person knows they will definitely not say anything. They are so good at what they do, and they are so good, and they are so good, is what I heard, okay. Um, this person is so good at what they do, and they are so good, so you plug it in, how uh, resonate source. So one of you guys is an informant to the FBI. I was picking that up about two or three months ago. Hold on one second, I gotta get some drink. I am so thirsty, hold on a second. So, I apologize. Okay, so one of you guys is an informant, current informant to the FBI, is what it sounds like. But, it sounds like you've been exposed in your community, um, is what it sounds like. And that could be the news energy, too, metaphorical for exposure in your community um, as being an FBI agent, is what I'm feeling. That's exactly what I'm feeling. And that could be the cobra and the energy, too. You thought you were being sneaky and sly about it, but somebody, boom, out of your ass, banged you. For some, it could have been a fire sign that exposed your ass, possibly. So I only feel it might be for some. But how that resonates, you were exposed. You thought you were sneaky and sly, but buddy, your ass has been exposed. So you're about to be asked to step down. But the person, there's a... Apparently, the FBI is looking at somebody else. And I'm just being thrilled. They already have who they want. They, they already know who they want. 
and it's not you, whoever you are, um, about to be knit, okay? They already have who they want, and they, it doesn't sound like they've asked this person yet, but it sounds like they're about to, um, and they're about to do it soon. This is about to happen quickly. Okay, I heard they're about to do it soon, and this is about to happen quickly, so... If you are an informant for the FBI right now and you know your ass has been exposed publicly in your community or you're about to be, just know it's about to happen quickly. It's about to be into this situation, baby. Um, and they already have they already know who they're about to ask to replace you, basically. Um, and I heard this person is very good at their job, very good. So whatever their job is and whatever they do, however that resonates for us, okay? That's at least for one of you guys. You can be a masculine or feminine, you plug it in how it resonates. September. A child will start school in fall time. That is very significant to one for us. A child will start school in uh, fall time. That's very significant to a, one for us. So for one of you guys, a child is going to start school maybe in September. I heard fall time, but you know... School starts differently in different dates for different people in different areas. For some, it could be September when they start school. For some, it could be August. Um, I feel like August or September. You plug it in how it resonates. We have September card. But fall time, um, August or September, I'm presuming, of 2022. Um, I'm feeling, uh, I didn't hear this, but I'm feeling pre-K or K. Uh, so this child could be three, four, five years old is what I'm presuming. I'm thinking new school, like primary school or, or pre-K, like three, four, five years old is what I'm presuming. I, it, they're significant to you. So it's either your child or grandchild or a significant child in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, however, that resonates and applies for us. A not-so-secret child is very, very, very public now. Very public. I got that in Virgos, too. A not-so-secret child is very, very, very public now. So, um, why would anybody try to keep a child secret? I have no idea. I got the same exact message in Virgos, too. A not-so-secret child is, secret, uh, is public now. Why would somebody try to keep a freaking child secret? I have no idea. Unless they were trying to sex traffic them or... Something crazy. I don't know why somebody would try to keep a child hidden. I just don't know. Um, that makes no freaking sense to me. But the child is public now, so thank God for that. Um, hashtag save the kids. Just saying. Someone is in a very significant lawsuit right now for HIV transmission. They will be a millionaire by September. Know this. Oh, my God. You plug it in. How it well, okay. So, someone's in a very significant lawsuit right now for HIV transmission. Um, I heard they will be a millionaire by September. Know this. So, um, that could be you that's in this current lawsuit or somebody you're connected to. Or maybe you're a legal team pursuing this lawsuit for the client, how that resonates, but some kind of significant lawsuit regarding HIV transmission. I heard the uh, client that's currently in this lawsuit, they will be a millionaire by September. So it will hopefully if they are living by September, I don't know how far the disease has progressed. Um, however, that resonates and applies in one's life for us. That's really sad. Um, you should always notify your partner or partners of any kind of sexually transmitted disease before you engage in any, any intercourse with them, if anybody needs to hear that. Hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance.
Now, Taurus is about to cut off a very, very, very needy fire sign. Very needy. Always wants to take advantage. Always wants to take advantage. Always wants to take advantage. For one of these people, they acquired a position they shouldn't have acquired. And they're doing terrible at their position. About to cut them off. For one, it's a lover. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Lover and um, a person that acquired a position in a company or place or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that they shouldn't have acquired. Sounds like they're underqualified is what it sounds like. Sounds like they're underqualified, underknowledgeable, and I heard they're doing terrible at their job anyway. So they're not even doing a good job in the position that they're in. For some, it could be in that skilled nursing facility. For some, it could be anywhere else. But wherever they're at, and somehow you're connected to them, I think you're about to be the one to nix them. I think you're about to be the one to nix them um, because they're not doing, they're not even, they're underqualified, I heard, for their position. So they're not even doing what they're supposed to be doing in their position anyways. Doesn't even sound like they're doing a good job at their job. Um, and you're about to nix them, Taurus, or you're about to have a hand in nixing them, how that resonates, okay? A very significant boardroom meeting is about to be had soon. A Taurus is about to be a part of this. A very significant boardroom meeting is about to be had soon. A Taurus is about to be a part of this. So if this resonates for you. You're about to be a part of a boardroom meeting, and um, it's about to be very significant. It could be a nixing this very underqualified person that's basically tanking their position and job and whatever they're doing to the freaking ground. Or it could be this very needy-ass lover that apparently one of you guys is attached to and for some of you guys it's a daggum pair uh it's a daggum aries and i'm just being for real for some it could be any other sign but i heard a very needy fire sign so it's a fire sign energy um aries leo sides whether it's uh they have aries leo sides and their sun moon rising venus or feminine haven jupiter chart somehow they have acquired some kind of position they're very underqualified you know they're uh very underqualified and basically you're about to nix their butt um whoever you are or have a hand in nixing them. And I think that is what the significant boardroom meeting is about to be about, to be honest. Um, and you're about to be a hand in that. And that could be the noose energy too, the um, letting go, and for some, ending the the lover relationship uh, with the, it's a fire sign for a lot of you guys. You're with fire sign right now. A one, it's an Aries. One, it could be an, any other Aries Leo Sag, masculine or feminine. But they're not, pleasing you sexually or not um, filling your emotional needs or not giving you love because you have angel of love or not fulfilling something in the dating department or love department or emotional department if we're talking about the lover energy or sexual department how that resonates um for some it could be sugar daddy energy i didn't hear it was but I heard lover, so I mean, I'm feeling like carnal energy for some, and I'm just being for real. I didn't hear it was, but I'm feeling like you were their sugar daddy there, Taurus. Just saying, just saying. Uh, for some, now for some, it's all in what you're looking for there, and I'm just being for real. So whatever, however that applies, okay? But for some, you're about to cut a lover off, and I'm just being for real. You're about to noose it. For some, you're about to cut a very underqualified person out of a position that should not be there but in all fairness i think something has happened or is a, i think something's already happened to cause you to see that they um have already basically screwed up the position all to hell basically um that's what i'm feeling but you plug it in how it resonates Public assistance is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. Public assistance is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. So some kind of public assistance. That could be HUD housing. That could be food stamps. That could be um, welfare. That could be um, WIC. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of public assistance. I think you're about to apply for this public assistance. If that resonates for you, Taurus, um, I feel like it could be HUD housing, uh, which is Section 8, or um, 
food stamps or welfare or um, WIC or um, what have you, what have you. Uh, however that resonates. Public assistance energy. Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Failing food trucks or food truck businesses are about to wake up a Taurus in a huge way. Huge way. Failing food truck businesses are about to wake up a Taurus in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's not your failing food trucks. I feel it's somebody you know um, or a food truck you're seeing out in the community that's failing or about to fail. How that resonates um or a food truck you have purveyed or used to provide how that resonates but some kind of failing food truck food truck businesses so two or two plus um i heard it's going to give you a huge wake-up call so i don't feel it's your food trucks it could be somebody you're connected to's food trucks um how that resonates i don't feel it's your food trucks it's somebody you're connected to's food trucks i'm feeling or a food truck you used to provide how that resonates but they're failing or about to fail, and it's about to give you a huge wake-up call. So failing food truck businesses, that's the failing food truck businesses, the business opportunities, which are the food truck businesses, they're about to fail with the noose energy. And it's about to give you a huge wake-up call. Maybe they're going to need help, assistance, or guidance when they fail. Maybe for some, they're going to fail by September, possibly, because we're in July now. So many businesses in a particular city are about to go under in huge ways. It's about to shock the hell out of a Taurus. Huge energy shifts coming. And people are about to, businesses that you never thought would make it are about to make it in very successful ways. Okay, Taurus, holy crap. So huge shifts in energy uh, in a city coming. So that could be any city. I didn't hear specifically what city it was, or at least not yet. Um, you have to plug it in your own city or situation, how it resonates, unless I hear one. But um, huge energy shifts in a city. So businesses you never thought would make it or about to make it and i heard they're about to make it good they're about to be very successful and businesses you thought were going to make it are basically about to tank into the ground so noose they're about to fail um so you plug it in how it resonates that's strong that's strong business energy here but um how that plugs in your life it's it's you ne you didn't see this coming blindside energy it's businesses you thought were going to make it are not going to make it and some of them it's involving two or two plus food trucks for some it could be any other kind of businesses but it's businesses you didn't think were going to make it are going to make it and they're going to make it so good they're going to be successful build and grow and revenue and i mean they are just about to make it you never thought they would but there's businesses you thought were going to make it aren't going to make it and there's at least two food trucks in that mix for some of you guys and i'm just being for real so you plug it in how it resonates. A pregnancy of an Aries by a water sign is about to shock the hell out of you. Aries feminine. The pregnancy of an Aries fem by a water sign is about to shock the hell out of you. A heavy Aries in here, Taurus. Heavy Aries. So, um, pregnancy of an Aries feminine is about to shock the hell out of you. And I heard it's by a water sign. So, water sign masculine. I'm presuming. He definitely has masculine parts. He have, Some might have masculine fem parts. But um, he definitely has a penis. Um, and I'm not trying to be crass. I'm just being serious. 
Um, it's an Aries fam. You're dealing with in some shape, form, or fashion. It sounds like she is already pregnant or about to become pregnant, but you're about to find out she's pregnant is what it sounds like. And it's going to shock you, but it's by a water sign masculine. So hopefully that's not your lover that's pregnant by somebody else. Hopefully it's not. Um, I'm not feeling for a good bit it is. Um, I think it's just some other Aries fam you know uh, um, that is pregnant. Going to be shocking. You're about to shockingly find out she's pregnant by a water sign masculine. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Masculine. You could have Cancer Pisces or Scorpio in a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. News of a pregnancy or a um, birth, a pregnant Aries Femme. But it's by Water Sign Masculine. You could have Cancer Pisces, Scorpio in a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Taurus. A Taurus is about to fall very, 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 very heavy legal action on a Sagittarius feminine and a Gemini masculine. Realize they were lied to in a huge, huge, huge way. A huge way. Taurus feminine and Taurus masculine. Oh, my Lord. So heavy Taurus energy. Taurus fem and Taurus masculine. Whoever you are, Taurus fem or Taurus masculine, I heard you're about to fall legal action on a Sagittarius femme and a Gemini masculine married couple married couple okay so it's a married couple Sag femme and Gemini masculine I heard they um, have lied to you in huge 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 ways extreme crimes of the past on a family and involved many 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 people many extreme crimes on a family in the past and involved many 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 people so whoever this married karmic married couple is uh they're a sag femme and a gemini masculine and um they committed extreme crimes on many people in the past um on a family um well they committed the crime suddenly on the family so a person or people with child or children and involved many many people to do it so it's a karmic married couple, basically. It's a Gem uh, Gemini masculine and a Sag fem. At least to you, two of you guys is about to fall legal action on them because it sounds like they drug you into accomplice energy to commit crime or crimes on this family. It sounds like it's over now, but that sounds like why you're about to file the legal action on them because they made you accomplices, but you didn't realize you were accomplices in crimes. Um, but now you realize you were, if that resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Karmic couple energy strong. Sag femme. Gemini masculine. I heard they're a married couple. Karmic married couple. So you plug it in how it resonates. And that could be the um, cobra with the fox too. They were they lied and deceived you. They put fangs in your back. Basically made you accomplices to crime or crimes. And you didn't even realize that you, I think for whoever this is for, you didn't realize it was a crime or crimes. But now you do. They were sneaky and deceptive. They used their cobra fangs to lure you in um it is about to go very 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 badly for these two a lot of legal action coming in very soon and very very strong it is about to go very 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 badly for these two a lot of legal action is about to come in very soon and very strong for these two so karmic married couple strong energy um sag fem and um Gemini masculine, they could have Sag, the Sag Femme could have Sag in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Gemini could have um, Gemini in a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But I heard basically heavy legal action coming in strong for these two. So I think, it's, well, it's at least two of you guys, two forces about to do this, one masculine, one femme. If not, other signs about to do this to this karmic married couple. They're coming in so strong. I heard heavy legal action coming for these two. So I don't think it's just you two about to do this. I think it's about to be other people. If you resonate and apply with this particular message or messages, this is strong, man. So in a legal business of the past would be this, um, for this stork energy, the legal business of the past with the karmic married couple. Uh, I wonder if anybody's reported their ass to the Federal Trade Commission. Just saying, just saying. I mean, that's serious. Good God.
Communication from a prison to a particular person soon is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. Significant contact. Communication from a prison to a significant contact is about to become very significant in Taurus's life soon. So, um, you plug in how it resonates. I got that clairvoyant vision the other day about the communication from the inside to the outside. I don't know if that resonates for maybe one of you Tauruses in this or not. Um, I'm not sure. Um, you can go back and check that reading if you feel it does. Um, but um, it's significant communication from a prison to a significant contact. It's about to become very significant for at least one of you guys in your life. So you might be the prison inmate, or you might be the significant contact, or somebody connected to the prison inmate or the significant contact, or someone connected to the situation with the, after contacts made, made uh, possibly. Because whatever this communication is, it's very significant, very important, and I think it's going to create series of chain events, um, is what I feel. So you plug it in, how it resonates. All right, I'm getting out of this. All right, I love you guys. Let me see if I hear anything else. Matthew, Kevin, Lee, Matthew, Kevin, Lee, Stephanie, Sabrina, Stephanie and Sabrina, Chesley, Chesley, Katie, Jana, Katie and Jana, Janice, Janice, Tyler, Tyler, Ryan, Ryan, Rico, Rico, Fred, Frida, Fred and Frida, Carlos, Carlos, okay, wow, that was a lot of names. So you plug it in how it resonates. Now that could be your name, somebody you're connected to's name, first, middle, or last name, or a nickname. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. That was a lot of names. That could, like I said, could be your name, somebody you're connected to's name, a child's name. I'm not sure. That was a lot of names. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Ashley. Ariel, Ashley and Ariel, okay, Ashley and Ariel, so you plug it in how it resonates, love you guys, hope this helped and namaste.